crap. I'm loaded here. So, this is probably my fifth trip. Sorry for not turning this around. Probably back my fifth trip out fishing for uh, salmon so far this season. And I have not had very good luck, nor have I actually seen uh, much of anything caught. So, I'm not going to get too elaborate with my... Uh, camera set up from the get-go here so that maybe we'll just kind of go through uh the motions that i go through to uh get out here and try and catch some fish so one of the first things i'm going to grab are some pliers i just got to have something to uh get a nice release on a uh, fish if necessary so i'm at the end of this tail out this spot might look a little uh familiar to some of you i've come out here i don't fish this spot all too often but it is usually right around this uh, time of the year when I do right here at the very end of September so I'm just gonna throw a couple spinners through this hole and really just kind of wanted to get down here and see uh, if I could see anything splashing around or whatever and the spot is extremely snaggy uh, just past where I'm casting to the right is a, a, a huge boulder kind of in between us and right there. So there's a big line of uh, rocks that run through here. And it's really easy uh, to end up getting caught up on them. In fact, there's one right in front of us right here, but I'm usually, uh, I've got my gear high enough in the water by then to, to swing around it. But then there's also been a few times that that's where I've caught my fish. I haven't seen anything yet, but I've only been here for five minutes. Sometimes these spinners, kind of get things stirred up. And sometimes it's either right off the bat, as soon as I get here I'm seeing fish, or it's when I've lost all of my hope and uh, I'm actually getting ready to pack up that I start seeing them move around. Goodness, we actually had a fish jump just on the other side of that boulder that I was talking about. Okay. It's usually the signs of life that I'm looking for, but go figure we weren't looking over that way, but it did sound like a hefty fish. Alright, well now there's a little bit of a gap right here. Let's see if we can kind of When the current switches and ends up going back up river right there. Oh, we're all messed up. Ends up going back up river. So it's just another reason that this area right here is so weird and it's not one of my uh, favorites to come back to. So I usually try and throw the same spinner for a little while just because you never know when the fish just aren't biting and it has absolutely nothing to do with uh, your color setup or maybe you're not even getting your gear around the fish or whatever so I like to kind of wear it out before I end up swapping up to something else and sometimes it's that first cast with a new color that ends up getting it and sometimes it's the last cast before I'm about to swap colors that it gets it so there's really to me uh, no rhyme or reason the upper section of this always looks very tempting but Going back to our boulder-ridden area here, there is a long, long, long little ridge of rocks that uh, split the river right there. And nine times out of ten, you <laughs> cast right into those rocks. If you make it on the other side, you end up getting caught on the way back. And uh, if you make it on the inside, it's such a short area to actually be able to fish that it needs to be more of a a bobber kind of thing. So we were right where we saw that fish. Just kind of eat my stuff. I don't even care if you're a fire truck. Alright. I'm going to throw a couple in that higher hole really quick.
I was definitely hoping to see uh, a little more activity than this. Spinner bite, man. Nice. It's a big fish. Coming back. Oh, 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 did he spit it right there? Woo! No, that was on a. That was a weird. Retrieve too. Why are y'all spun up right there? Let's get this back before it gets stuck. Oh man. Let's fix this real quick. Oh man. Well, that was fun. And notice I cast up a little bit higher on that one, and the current actually kind of starts to go back up river again because of this big rock that's out here. And it almost, I could tell I was high enough in the water, but it felt like I it hit the ground and all of a sudden a big jerk an obvious fish but I just think maybe I didn't get a good enough hook set him on a hook set on him or uh, maybe that jump just gave him what he needed to get off of there that purple sparkle just anything with a green blade is really one of my go-to's for all water conditions of course, there's plenty of times where I like that really early morning low light and uh, going with the uh, chartreuse blades. Oh my God, really? Oh my God, how? <laughs> We just lost one again. What the heck? Let me double check this hook here. The hook seems fine. You see that? I kind of, I didn't even realize it was actually there. I thought I was just kind of snagged, but then I, I had that tension just sitting there. You can see the rod tip bouncing. time to get out of here. Haven't tried a chartreuse blade yet though, have we? Maybe we should. Hardly have any time on this battery. So let's make this quick. Chartreuse, baby. Chartreuse. This does not feel right. Yeah, I'm not liking that dude. So, I think what I'll do is get out of here. It didn't really work that well before, though.
persistence. Figure out what kind of fish we got going on here. Tutti fruity. That's not too bad. See if this guy's got a fin or not. I don't see one yet. Dude, yeah, I don't see a fin. That is a keeper. Distance. Gotta love it. That is a big hoe, man. Man, that is why I love oh, just sticking it out sometimes. It is a beautiful fish. My goodness. Of course, that was on the half ounce. Tutti Fruity. It's on this big old buck. Big old buck, you can tell. It's got this big, big beak on there. So I don't know if it was this fish that we hooked, hooked earlier, but man, that fish is massive. That is a stud right there. Oh, thank you, fish. You have made my day. Awesome. It was almost a, a go home fish. I was ready to wrap it up, but I just wanted to get a little bit higher as I was mentioning and just kind of be able to throw down a little bit more of an angle into that slot and be able to run it up through that slot instead of just casting across the slot and having to just work that little area uh, in between me and that rock out there so seems that having that little bit of extra space to run that spinner and I uh, kind of slow it down really helped out thank you let's get you tagged I need my phone sweet 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 well, the only way I can sum up today is, woo! Damn, it feels good to get on a fish. It doesn't have to be the brightest, shiniest, the biggest. It just felt good to uh, get that tug on the end of my line and uh, actually be able to bring a fish to the bank and something that we can bring home. But as always, you guys, I appreciate you guys tuning in, joining the adventure with me. I apologize that it's been so long since uh, my last video, but hopefully we can kind of get things back on track but until next time best of luck to all you guys and i hope to see you out on the water